go. When the body performs certain activities, such as eating an apple, processes are performed in order for the muscle to contract or relax. In turn, this creates movement. As the impulse reaches a synaptic bulb, CA plus enters the bulb. Vesicles migrate to the cell membrane and in turn fuse with the cell membrane. The neurotransmitters release into the cleft and ACH diffuses across. ACH then binds to the receptor protein. The motor end plate then becomes depolarized and action potential moves along the seroclema down transverse tubes into the SR. The CA plus is released from the SR. ACH is then released at the synaptic terminal diff and diffuses across the synaptic cleft and binds to the receptor proteins on muscle fibers plasma membrane. This triggers an action potential in the muscle fiber. Next, action potential is propagated along the plasma membrane and down the T-tubules. Then, action potential triggers calcium release from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Let's take a closer look at how action potential works. Action potential. In response to a stimulus, gated ion channels in the membrane for sodium suddenly open and allow sodium on the outside to rush inside the cell. Sodium channel. As the positively charged sodium rush in, the charge on the cell membrane becomes depolarized or more positive on the inside. Repolarization. In response to the flow of sodium, another kind of gated channel opens, this time it's potassium, allowing the potassium on the inside to rush outside of the cell. Hyperpolarization. By the time potassium gated channels close, more potassium have moved outside of the cell than is actually necessary to establish the original polarized potential. A synaptic cleft is a gap that separates adjacent neurons. The calcium gates open. Calcium rushes. Next, calcium ions bind to troponin and thin filaments. The myocyte binding sites are now exposed. After myosin cross bridges alternately attach to actin and detach, pulling thin filaments toward the center of the sarcomere, ATP powers sliding of the filaments. In the relaxed, in the contracted stage, sorry, the dark bonds re remain the same length and the light bands are shorter. The Z lines are also closer and the sarcomere Shorten. Next, systolic calcium is removed by active transport into the sarcoplasmic reticulum after action potential takes place. Lastly, tropomyosin blockage of the myosin binding sites is restored. Contraction ends and the muscle fiber relaxes. In the relaxed state, myosin heads cause actin to elongate. This muscle is now in the relaxed state. This then ends the process of muscle contraction and relaxation.